in record time cig delivers star citizen alpha 3.23.1 immediately after 3.23 went live which is this is probably the first time i ever seen something like this but man they really want to get this thing out there it looks like this patch is dedicated for the upcoming invictus event because boy do they have some interesting things in there let's quickly go over the new features and fixes that they have in the patch then we'll get into some of the leaks and some of the new ships and new info that we found in this new patch let's get right into it on the features and gameplay they're adding repair fully damaged items into the game so now it says here it says ships weapons components that have been taken down to zero health should now be repairable that is going to be awesome man so now so think about it so if you find a ship that has been that has been abandoned because it's been destroyed or whatnot you can find the components and repair them and use them as your own that is going to be awesome or even if you find an abandoned ship that is damaged and you can repair it and have it as your own ship that'll be pretty cool that'll can we claim ships that's my question right it says removing a fully damaged weapon or component with a tractor beam and using the repair tool should now function that is awesome they've added keybinds for directly entering into nav and scm on the core tech they made further gameplay clients performance optimizations interior map material optimizations vfx visual improvements and fixes it says made further particle visual improvements for upscaling fixed cyan color cast seen in bright areas near the screen edge due to chromatic abbreviation process removed jitter processing on terrain rendering leading to poor quality reprojection just to let y'all know i am doing a giveaway for the mirai pulse if you want to participate all you got to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video from now till the end of june the goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers and i cannot do it without you let's move on there's quite a few bug fixes with this one they made further entity graph stability improvements they fixed the oversized active armistice zone icon it was really annoying seeing that but i'm glad that they have that fixed they fixed an issue where players who die when disconnected before respawning become stuck in a dead state and is unable to respawn. They fixed an issue where copian are generated and teleported when running around. They fixed an issue where shopping kiosk UI missing elements when upscaling is enabled. They fixed an issue where trespass timer will go to a negative number. They fixed an issue where number of simulated regions going back to medium between sessions in uh, your menu options they fix an issue where two rooms volumes are missing in a technical deck causing players to suffocate in the 400 i they fix an issue where visor chat message remain visible over the Moby glass they fix an issue where items on display at multiple shops will end in transaction error when attempted to quick buy they fix an issue where completing a contract while movie glass is open on the contract does not open a specific contract in the history they fix an issue where runtime queue maps are taking on excessively long time refresh and or not refreshing at all they fix an issue where worker npc sometimes use tractor beams to shoot at the player that's interesting to see they fix an issue where depending on orientation player places weapon through their head and neck when adsing this is regarding eva they fix an issue where you cannot enter a remote turret for the ursa they fix an issue where the roc mining laser does not activate they fix an issue where crosshair do not show on the gray cat roc they fix an issue where clicking the character customize the screen after reviewing your model and going back to it will show t pose models they fix an issue where the grab race mode does not show or update player score along with this is five client crashes two server crashes they fix an out of memory crash so now let's get into the leaks and some new information we found pertaining to this new patch First and foremost, they have found the Saber Raven is now in with the gold standard update. So it's looking awesome. I cannot wait to get my hands on this vehicle myself. But right now, I don't know. Is CIG planning on selling the Saber Raven even though they promised not to? Or what I think they actually are doing is they are not planning 
on selling the Saber Raven, but they're going to be selling the new ship, the new variant for the Saber, which is going to be the Saber Firebird, I believe, instead of the Raven. And um, I think they essentially do almost the same thing, but I'm, I think there might be a little bit of a difference between the two ships, but we'll have to see. But then again, they did a gold standard for the Saber Raven, and we have a new variant, the Saber Firebird. Up next, they found the RSI Polaris in the game files, and players are able to see them, which is awesome. The ship does look awesome in game. It looks kind of gray boxy, um, well, white boxy, kind of almost. Um, but I don't think it's fully finished, um, as the interior is not even done. So I don't think it's a, it's fully, fully, fully done. But um, that's uh, interesting, anyways. But I would love to see this in game myself, so I'm gonna try to find it. In addition to this, they're adding new skins, pyro related new skins for the Cutlass, uh, all the Drake ships actually, the Cutlass, the the um, Cutter, the um, the Salvage ship here, and also, I mean, the Vulture and the uh, Corsair are all getting a new pyro related skin. The Ursa Rover for the medical variant. Seems like they're going to have some new skins for that. Um, well, it's all going to be new anyway, so because this is going to be the first time of us seeing it, but there are some extra skins that they're going to have for it when they drop it for Invictus. The MPU V1T, which is going to be the one that has the tractor beam, is also having some skins. I think this is going to be the first time we're going to see we're going to see this in the game, actually. All right. So now to go further into it, when they looked at the capital ship, the RSI Polaris, when they data mined it, they found some stats for it and um man this thing is a tank when i looked at the hp it's a hundred thousand it's a hundred million hp and um it has a top nav speed of 900 an scm speed of 210 i'm sure these things will be uh changed uh updated as uh they further develop the game but uh crew crew size is 12 it says here it also has a uh two size four remote turrets and one two three four five size five man turrets man that's a lot of firepower and of course it has some missiles as well as well as uh the torpedoes that it comes with it has a size four polaris shield it says here a size four polaris power plant a size four polaris cooler it says here and a size three quantum drive i think this thing should be a size 4 quantum drive maybe there isn't any size 4 quantum drives in the game yet but this size 4 size 3 quantum drive here may just be a place holder just let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one